studio head transmedia, yes, yeah. Kiki Wolfkill is here to tell us what in the world we just saw. So Kiki, we, give me the elevator pitch. I gotta say, well, let me just preface this. I'm the kid that was always first in line for all of these yes. Halo events. This looks crazy, different, unique. Give me, tell me what yeah. I need to know. So this is kind of the pinnacle of all those events. So we really, uh, so it's a touring fan experience. And the idea is really to take, there's so many different parts of Halo, right? There's the stories and the characters and the gameplay and the cosplayers in our community. So how do we bring all of those things together under one roof and bring it to our fans? And I think that's the difference because we learned with uh, the E3 HoloLens thing we did in 2015, which was super cool, and Halo Fest in 2011, our own museum at 343, um, even the Boomco Arena we did at Comic Con. Like these are all things where people came together and experienced Halo in a really different, like physical way, and it was super inspiring. Mm -hmm. But we also recognized, you know, our fans can't always come to 343 or come to mm -hmm. E3, or so really this is the idea of how do we bring those experiences and more, like more of a sort of themed attraction experience to our fans where they are. And you know what, you said it right, this is a unique experience. I personally have never heard of anything like this, so I'm very excited, but talk us through, more importantly, walk us through the experience. If I'm a fan walking in for the first moments of the outpost. Yeah, and our, our hope is, because the thing we learned from these experiences, fans bring their family and friends, right? Like we all have things that we love that our friends and family watch us play or watch and they don't quite get it right and this is a way for them to come and experience it together mm -hmm. right and so um the first i would say your initial experience and it's it's a it's a three-day weekend experience is you come in and the first thing you do is meet gabriella who's our new ai for outpost discovery so you'll come in and you know innovation is a huge part of what we do so the technological innovation of how you experience halo in real life um, is really critical for us to get right. So you come in, you meet Gabriella projected, um, and then you come into our Hall of History, and that really is sort of all of the artifacts and life-size figures and all of the things you've played in the games or, or seen in our stories, but brought to life. Um, and so that's really the introduction for everybody, is to come through this Hall of History. There's obviously amazing photo ops. Um, mm -hmm. And then you go into the ring experience, which is this huge domed projection experience, kind of walking you through what it is to be on the halo ring. And so we really wanted to create these experiences that were viscerally really exciting to physically be in, but for fans, it touches on deep lore, and for people who are new, it's just really exciting. And then the world kind of opens up and there's so many things to do. So you talk about that deep lore and you mentioned getting it right. Mm -hmm. And I know the attention to detail has absolutely got to be there or else Twitter and Reddit will let you know. Yeah. I've seen it happen. <laughs> yeah, um, so I'm curious about the nuance, to, you know, uh, like the nuance and how your team is taking care to make sure you get uh, this right for those who love the deep lore. Well, we have an amazing partner in Hirsch and Live. Um, they also uh, own and run the Harlem Globetrotters. So their experience in putting on a show and also taking that show on the road um, is unique and really sort of one of a kind. And so we've partnered really closely we have a team on our side who is focused on all of those details. And really, again, how do, you, how do you hit the existing fan and how do you hit someone new and introduce this universe to them? Um, we have the franchise team deeply engaged. There's a narrative across the whole experience. So when you come into Halo Outpost Discovery, you're in the narrative of that experience, which is a post-Halo 3 uh, experience. Um, and so that narrative is is uh, is part of every single thing that you do as, as a participant. And so we've been really deeply involved in crafting that story. Nice. Now you alluded to it at the beginning, after the introduction, after you're walking through the, the hallowed halls there, what are some of the other experiences that yeah. fans can expect? There's, um, there's a huge range. We have a huge, huge laser tag arena. <laughs> right, competition is kind of core to, uh, to Halo. Um, but there's also, you know, we have a VR, competitive VR experience, the laser tag experience. We have things that are almost like rides, mm -hmm. right? And really ways, uh, we have an escape room experience in a covenant environment, which is something we've never built physically before. So being able to step into a covenant environment is completely new. Um, and there are things, like this is something we want people to bring their families to. Halo is, you know, multi-generational. We have 
moms and dads who want to share Halo with their kids. And so, you know, there's a Boomco target range, there's a Mega Bloks building area. Um, and then there's, you know, competitive play. We want people to under, you know, to get a sense for what it feels like to participate in an esport. We'll have streaming on site. We'll have cosplayers everywhere. So it's really kind of taking all of the pieces of our community and making it a place where our community can come and share their love for Halo with other people. It's funny you mentioned that family bit because you know since it's a snow day in Seattle, my kids here right now watching this That's happen. Right. But I want to know. Your child how... is adorable. Oh, let's not let's not gas him up. His head yeah, is big yeah, enough, I right? <laughs> but I want to know what does our ideal day look like? Like what's our walkthrough experience? How do we yeah. best experience this? Yeah, I mean there's it's funny because we actually have different walkthroughs for all different types of of uh, fans to come, and you know the family walkthrough is is sort of a mix of things that you may want to do and things you can you can do with your son. Like I said, the, the Boomco target range is a, you know, it's a leaderboard, score-based experience, is super fun. Um, obviously there's food on site. Oh, say no more. <laughs> We're there. Oh, so yeah. I'm first in line again. <laughs> for people to chill. But there's the, another part of it is there's this whole sort of um, what we call the post-exchange marketplace. And that really is sort of like a fan fest atmosphere. Right, which is we'll have booths and sponsors and people bringing their wares, and there's there's sort of this whole range. So, you know, the whole family actually has something that they can go they can go do. Well, now for the very important details: <laughs> how can people participate? Are you selling yes. tickets? And the most important detail, I think, which Who's is second in line. Well, because I'm first. I'm just throwing <laughs> <that> out there. <laughs> I'm gonna watch that. Battle more happen. importantly, yeah, he'll win. It's fair. He's just bigger. Um, but more importantly, where? Is the outpost heading? Yeah, so tickets are actually available, not surprisingly, right now. What? Yes. <laughs> I know, while we're up here. On Great, no. Now. <laughs> I actually uh, know Halooutpostdiscovery.com. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's five cities starting on July 5th, so three-day weekends through the summer from July to September. And we'll start in Orlando, and then we go to Philadelphia. I'm going to try and... Get my I got the, my regions I in my you. regions right, um, Chicago, Houston, Anaheim. So we really wanted to go where our fans are, right? To that point of how do we bring this experience to our communities? And so we sort of we picked regions all over the country that are both big metropolitan areas, but also sort of great um, sort of fan bases for us. And before you ask your last question, well, I guess I'm the last question oh, because yeah. I'm going to jump in here. Okay. This is unscheduled. Oh, so you won that battle. I know yeah. I did. Uh, I would be remiss as a Halo fan if I didn't ask. Even if you can't say anything, even if I you feel can't like, say no. I feel like... I want to know if there's anything you can tell us about the new Showtime uh, yeah. project. Um, nothing new to officially share. Mm -hmm. I mean, we are, we're knee deep in it. Like, it's really exciting for us because, you know, these things take so much time. And um, we're really in the nitty gritty and it's so much fun. So. Well, it's highly anticipated. Thank you very yeah, much, Keith. Thank yeah, you. Thanks for thank being you for here. I mean, it me. sounds like, hey, we're going to uh, Orlando, July 5th. Woo! Yeah, oh, we'll I'm make there. it happen. We'll make it happen. <laughs> Party in Orlando. All right. <laughs> <I'm Yeah. there. laughs>